So a lot's been going on since that last race. Um, I am really overwhelmed with the amount of work there is to do. So immediately the whole focus kind of turned into uh, the Prescott race. Mike Johns, the promoter of the race, sent me a 60 second commercial spot, at the uh, voice of Supercross. Uh, he, did a, he did a voiceover and then he asked me to put the video side of that together. And uh, there was really kind of a short time limit on getting that done. So I had to really rush to get that knocked out. America's best off-road racers are coming to Prescott. The U.S. Army Rough Rider 100, the race of champions. The number one champions from all over the West, plus from Calgary, Canada, three-time Canadian motocross champ, two-time Enduro cross champ, Shelby Turner. AMA West Harris Scramble champion, Max Gersten, takes on Arizona champion, Mitch Carvel for off-road domination. Plus Ryan Wells, Cooper Abbott, Clay Hengeveld, Taylor Robert, and Destry Abbott. Saturday, February 17th, Prescott Tire Pros and Automotive Service presents kids motorcycle racing, big bikes, fat class amateurs, the Rowdy Rose Rough Rider Women's Championship, and the Wild Two Up Tango. Sunday, February 18th, the U.S. Army Rough Rider Championship and more. Tickets are $10 adults, kids 12 and under free. President's Day weekend, February 17th and 18th. Hosted by Little Dealer, Little Prices RV Center, Prescott. Valley, 2757 North Truewood in Prescott Valley. For more info, go to roughrider100.com. I am really overwhelmed with the amount of work there is to do. Um, and actually, I shouldn't say there is to do. I'm almost done with it all. And this video is kind of one of the last things I had to put together. You know, I always like to release a video every week for Moto Monday. And uh, it was really hard coming up with something because... Well, the last race, uh, that video was really, really hard to make for a lot of reasons. I had a ton of footage. There was a lot going on uh, with the AMRA scoring and kind of waiting to see how they were going to handle that. Um, obviously, it didn't get resolved before I, uh, the video needed to come out, so I went ahead and put out the video as it was. It took a lot of work, took a lot of time, and, you know, a lot of thought went into that one. It was like the 11th hour when I got it finished and put it out, and then immediately switched over to getting the bike taken apart getting parts ordered for it and uh, still don't have it all back together. The whole focus kind of turned into uh, the Prescott race and uh, helping out with uh, some of the promotions that they're doing. And then on top of that, it was it was uh, straight to fixing my website. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever been to my website, but it looked pretty bad. Um, there are some problems with it. The uh, company that hosts it hasn't set up the security for the website uh, that I paid for over a year ago. It's just, it's been a pain in the butt. It doesn't work on mobile, it doesn't work on tablet, and of course, working on a budget, I have to do all of this myself, you know? So I do all, I'm doing all the editing, I'm doing the website design, I'm doing the motorcycle repair. My brother's come over to help me out, and I'm very thankful for that. It's kind of hard to, to do it, to be a one-man band and get it all done in a timely manner. So one of the things that, that my wife suggested at uh, the Santa Rita shootout was, you know, it was a hot day, the sun was beating down, and she's like, there's no, word, there's no hats out here, you know? Somebody should be out here selling hats. And so we decided, hey, let's order some hats and put the Joe Rockstar logo on it. Uh, so we're gonna have hats. And then I was like, well, you know, it's, it's winter time, which it doesn't really seem like anymore. The last few days have been pretty hot. And I made the decision, hey, we'll, we'll make some beanies too. So we made some beanies, and then we were like, well, if we're gonna make hats and beanies, why don't we make some t-shirts, maybe, Maybe somewhere out there somebody might want a Joe Rockstar t-shirt. So we, we went ahead and we uh, put together uh, some designs and we submitted those for order. That was something else that I had to get done. And we'll be getting those shirts. We'll have them in time for the Prescott race. So hopefully if you guys want a shirt, you come by, come see us. Uh, we'll probably set up a table somewhere, you know, and, and have some shirts you can buy. So anyways, really busy. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, I've been kind of overwhelmed, but it's, it's really slowed down over the past couple of days. All of this work that, that I'm doing is self-imposed, so I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, letting you know, like, that's why it takes me so long sometimes to get a video out or why this video isn't the big productions that I usually like to try and put on. So leading up to the ISDE qualifier, I did a lot of practicing on the bike, and I was noticing that it was bottoming out quite a bit. And I know that's kind of normal, but it's not really been my experience with this bike forever. Uh, so it seemed like it was kind of a little out of whack. Uh, so after the race... I went ahead and took it to ZR1 suspension in Tucson. I had busted a seal on my rear shock probably a long time ago because once I got it back from ZR1 uh, racing, uh, 
Donnie told me that uh, I've been running it with nothing but air inside, so there's no oil in there. So he's what he's done is he's he's done some work to the shock. Uh, he rebuilt the inside and gave me a progressive spring for my forks. Uh, he went ahead and did the gold valve, uh, just changed the seals out, new oil. Now, I didn't want to do that before the race because all of the work that's going to have to go into, you know, having a whole new suspension. I mean, there's probably some differences here that I'm going to have to get either get used to or make some adjustments to to make it. Uh, writable for me to, to suit me and I imagine I, I have no idea because I've never done it before but I imagine that it that it might be really different and I'm gonna have to you know play around these clickers quite a bit to get it to the point where I feel comfortable and I can still ride at uh, I don't know what the word would be because I don't want to say I could still ride really good because I don't ride really good but I could still ride you know at least as good as I was doing before and then there is the, you know, the bike itself. I get it, I got it home and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff that needed to be done on this bike. The radiators were completely bent out of shape. The radiator braces that I bought, they're horrible braces as a matter of fact. And I, I think I'll go ahead and put that out right now. Uh, these Enduro engineering braces, they work pretty good at first, but uh, they have some serious uh, flaws that showed their ugly head. I'm not saying it would be bad if it was $15 or $20, but it, at $90, not worth it. So I've ordered some new braces. I'm expecting those to come in on Monday. We did a valve check and amazingly, this uh, bike has not had to have a valve adjustment. It is still in spec and we're at like 250 some odd hours. I don't know what, everybody's always talking about these maintenance issues with KTMs. Uh, most of the maintenance that's had to be done on this bike involves me crashing it or uh, just standard stuff that you should do with any bike. Change the oil, change the filter, you know. So uh, maybe this is anecdotal and I got the best uh, KTM 500 EXC that ever rolled off the line because the bike doesn't have a lot of problems, but I doubt that. Um, anyways, I'm going to finish up here buttoning this up. I'm going to edit together a quick little video for this week. Today's Super Bowl Sunday, so I've got some friends that we're going to get together and watch the game. That's pretty much it. I guess I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching, guys.